ready, so they got me cruising around with a stick. Cool as a bitch, you know I ain't never gonna lose again. I'm running this shit. Hey, Jay. What's good, stunning life? It's your boy, stunning, and we always stunning. Check this out. Today, we're gonna be doing a video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got my pistol, all my pistols, AR pistols, at under the age of 21. I'll be showing you guys the easiest way, the way I did it. But due to YouTube guidelines, I cannot recommend any type of firearm sales or any type of manufacturers or any type of gun firms. So instead I'm gonna be telling you guys a story time on how I got my Glock 19 and the rest of my Glockies when I was under the age of 21. Okay, without further ado, I'm about to get right into this story time. So this story time is about how I received handguns and pistols under the age of 21 and legally were allowed to have these and were allowed to carry these seal carry the way my story goes is when I first turned 18 obviously I became an adult so obviously I was wanted to carry a firearm but there are complications with carrying a firearm at 18 not only with my state but it might be with your state too so make sure you research your state before you do anything make sure if you're not sure you can call the police department to your local police department you can talk to lawyers in your state and they have no problem with telling you the law. So if you're unsure about doing anything with the firearm, make sure you contact the people who make the law first and they will tell you. I turned 18, I applied for my gun license, my concealed carry permit, and that was around when COVID first had happened. So my concealed carry permit was delayed by about six months so about six months after I turned 18, I finally received my handgun license because in my state, I'm allowed to receive a handgun license, firearms, concealed carry license at the age of 18. Not all states allow this. Some states might want you to be 21 years old. So if it's just your state that you have to have be 21 to conceal carry or carry firearms, then you just gonna have to deal with it or move states. What I had did is I did a lot of research. I contact my local police departments, not only in just one city, but multiple cities just to get, just to confirm everything was true so I wouldn't be doing anything illegally. I then talked to lawyers and other people a part of the law, police departments, um, chief of the police, even actual just patrol officers I've talked to just to confirm certain things if I was unsure or didn't get a for sure answer on. So as I was waiting for my firearms license, I came upon some research as in my state, the minimum age to carry a handgun or a pistol is 18. The minimum age to purchase a handgun or a pistol in my state is 21. So. That's why I then found the loophole of how I could receive one and how I could purchase one. In my state, they allow private sales of firearms. And the minimum age of private sales of firearms is 18 years old. So a private sale is anything that is not inside of a FFL or gun store. If it is not a store that is actually selling the firearm, then it is a private sale. If it is from a relative, um, a family member, cousin, brother, uncle, mom, dad, friend, random street stranger, it's a private sale. So in my state, the minimum age is 18 years old to purchase a firearm from private sale. So that was the first loophole I first found. So now I am legally allowed to have my concealed carry permit second i'm legally allowed to purchase a firearm from a private seller third i am legally allowed to carry a firearm pistol at the age of 18 with a concealed carry permit the only problem was i was not able to purchase a legal firearm from out of a actual gun store or ffl store so next to the second way I found 
to purchase handguns and firearms under 21 was receiving it as a gift so in my state my state allows me to receive firearms handguns pistols i was able to receive firearms for birthday christmas any special holiday it doesn't even have to be a holiday it could just be a gift from your parents just saying like you're doing good in life here you go or it just be from a friend good friend you can have this so that's the second way third again private sales it's kind of hard to find people selling firearms that are legal you don't want to go buy a illegal stolen gun or just a used gun that's not legal or being used in crimes you don't want to do that especially if it's your first gun you don't want to mess yourself up by buying anything illegal or purchasing anything the illegal way it is in every state it is illegal to have someone go inside of a gun store and buy a firearm for you it is illegal you will go to jail and the person who bought it will surely go to jail also so please do not send your friend your uncle your mom in the store to buy you a firearm the gun store employees will catch on to it and they will call the police it doesn't matter if you guys are both legal it's illegal to do it so please don't do that i did not do this i made sure not to do this and i'm just trying to keep you guys safe obviously i'm not telling you guys what to do i'm just telling you guys my story on how i did it i'm not saying go do this or if you want to buy a gun go buy it like this i'm telling you guys how i bought it so as i was saying it is hard to find people that sell legal guns brand new guns it's hard you can't just go around asking people do you have a gun for sale you got this glock for sale uh do you have this draco for sale no it's hard to do that so so there is a website that i found where i could find people that were selling their guns privately which i cannot tell you guys what website it is due to youtube guidelines but but you guys can text me on instagram my instagram gonna be right here you can message me on instagram about any questions about this about the site i'm not saying i'm gonna tell you because i'm i'm not going to tell you but i'm not going to say it on youtube so there is a website that i use to purchase firearms it is a website that you can meet up locally with people that are locally in your state and you can either trade or sell your own firearm or buy your own firearm from a private seller what i did is buy mine from a private seller and i printed out copies of bill of sales for every firearm that i have bought privately there is a bill of sale i did get a bill of sale writing out their name address the firearm serial numbers when i bought it how much i paid and pictures of both of our ids and concealed carry permits so you do not want to go purchasing a firearm from someone that is a felon legally not allowed to possess a firearm you do not want to do any type of firearm business with because you both will go to jail so it's stunning life i told you on my story time on how i got these glocks and these ar pistols and everything before i turned 21 i'm 21 now but that's just how i did it i youtube i did not tell anyone how to buy any firearms any pistols anything under the age of 21 the under the age of 18 like i said do not do this at all this is my story time this is how i did it check your state laws check your state laws before you do anything with firearms i didn't tell anybody how to do it I'm telling you my story time how i did it so make sure i hit that like button because i know this story time did help some people stun life and i'm gone Niggas be hating, so they got me cruising around with a stick. Cool as a bitch, you know I ain't never gonna lose again. I'm running this shit. Hey, Jay, I'm running this shit.